Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest way to color correct the Sony A7C S-Log2 footage. So let me walk you through the process. All right, so when I am outside like this in a bright sunny day, typically what I do is I put on the ND filter and I prefer the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon version 2 Polar Pro because you can just take the cap out of it and then keep it in your pocket when not in use as you can see here it's pretty convenient and when you're done you can just place the cap on top of the ND filter and you're done but you need something to control the light so typically an ND filter would do that so I can keep my other settings constant such as the shutter speed which I have 1 50th of a second because I'm shooting at 24 frames per second I keep the aperture at 1.8 with the Sony 20 millimeter lens. Only thing you have to be careful when shooting outside is the lighting condition can change. Even though you set the settings at certain things, the sun can go in and out of the cloud, making it difficult to color correct. All right. So anyway, let me show you in DaVinci Resolve how I color correct and what's the best and easy way. And also on the camera, what setting do I use to get the exposure right? and the skin tone right so that you have to do minimal corrections in post processing in any editor whether it be DaVinci or Final Cut Pro alright so let's go inside and I'll walk you through the process alright now we are in DaVinci Resolve this is the latest version and you can download it for free so let me bring the media into the cut page and I have put the first clip already in there and now I'm going to put the second clip so this is the ungraded clip this is the s lock to click on the clip selection so you can see the two clips that we have indoor and the outdoor so again this is ungraded so I'm going to show you what's the easiest and best way to grade this clip so pick a point where you see your face or the skin and now at the bottom right corner the toolbox click on that and here where you have presets and master settings if you scroll down you will see color management by default it's DaVinci YRGB so you can select the color managed option and select input lookup table other option is going with ACESCCT and the latest version is 1.3. When you select that, you would get an option to select the input log. So in this case, you can scroll down from the list to pick the Sony S log 2 daylight because I was outside. But I don't prefer this option because I'll show you in a minute how it looks like. It's too contrasty and the black levels are too much. So the option that I prefer is not this one. Maybe this is good for 10 bit videos from A7S3. I would go with DaVinci Color Manage and then click the automatic color management and pick the input log s log 2 to rec 709 from the option in the lookup table menu and then click save that will give typically a good starting point and you can always adjust the highlight and the shadows from that point so at this time the clips are already graded for the s log 2 options and i'm going to show in the next section what camera settings you should change in the menu but here this is a great starting point but you still have to make minor tweaks and typically how I do that is bringing up the color scopes and then looking at all the four tools we have parade waveform vector scope and histogram and the idea here is to bring down the shadows closer to the zero level at the bottom so bring down the lift to close to zero so that you have right balance there and then we will do the same thing with the highlights we want to bring it somewhere close to 896 or between 896 and 1023 so that way you have good shadow and highlight information and then you can increase the contrast to your liking whichever way you want to stop it you can play with the contrast and see what you like and then you can obviously increase the saturation to a point that feels right for you so you have already seen the clip at the beginning so when i'm screen recording it looks too saturated but that is just because of the screen record so in order to see that perfectly enable the skin 
tone indicator on the vector scope go to the highlight section and click the highlight tool and select the skin area around your forehead where you have too much light and look at the option by pressing shift and edge to show only the part of the selection and you will see in the vector scope line that the skin tone is perfectly on that line so we are good there not much correction required so you can de deactivate the power window and now that clip is almost ready to go you can always do the color grading which is separate from color correction now the clip is corrected and now we will do the indo clip in the same format again go to the log wheels and select the shadows and bring it down so that it's closer to zero and then typically bring down or bring up the highlights so that it's sitting between that 896 and 1023 line and then again it's up to your liking how much contrast you want to add and the saturation so play around to see what you like and it's always very subjective so in my case i leave it at 60 again for screen recording it will look too much contrasty but uh, in the actual clip it's not so again select the power window to select the skin tone that you want to check and in the vector scope you can see the skin tone indicator so all you have to do is press shift edge to see just the skin in this case the skin is just under that skin tone red color so you have to bring it a red color in the mid tone close to that line so that it's look natural so at this time it's right on the line so we're good to go there so now you can disable the power window and you can do that by clicking on that circle again so it goes away so again this clip is done and now you can play with the highlights or shadows as required here on the screen recording it looks too contrasty but in the actual clip it's all good to go as you saw in the beginning of the clip so now I'm going to take you through the camera settings, what settings I do on the camera menu so that I have to do very minimal like how I showed here for post processing. So let's get to the camera menu settings. I'm recording in 4K. That is the two options I have in 4K or HD for 24 frames per second. So I'm selecting the 4K. That's the highest quality and the record setting is obviously 24 frames per second so that's why i have set the shutter to 1 50th of a shutter at the bottom you can see here that's because of the 24 frames per second picture profile i have selected the s log 2 so you can go to the function menu and you can select pp7 so in my case as you would see here that is s log 2 and that's the default setting I have increased the saturation to plus 7 so that when I shoot I get a feeling of what it's gonna look like apart from that I have not done anything so that's the picture profile my white balance is always at 5500 Kelvin and that's because I'm shooting in daylight either outside or I'm in a controlled lighting situation with a lighting that is 5500 kelvin so i keep the white balance at that so it's critical to have the right log and the white balance combination and next to get correct smooth skin tone all i do is in the zebra i set it to custom and select uh, 77 as the zebra value and plus or minus 3 so if you are caucasian then you can set it to 79 or closer to 80 and if you are darker skin then you can select to about 73 or so so in my case 77 is the ideal for my skin tone that i found once that is select what happens is when i expose on my skin if it is above that 77 limit it shows zebra lines on my skin then i know that i have to reduce the exposure or put an nd filter like that so that the exposure can be brought down by controlling the nd filter so this is the peter mckinnon version or edition two uh two to five stops and that's the nd filter i'm using so on the camera that's pretty much it apart from that you can see here i use this setting all the time and i have set the I auto focus on for video whenever I shoot video it's always focused all right so that's all the camera settings let's wrap this video up all right guys so that's how you color correct the Sony a7c s log 2 footage as long as you have the right settings on the camera before you start shooting 
it should be a simple task as I showed you here and with DaVinci Resolve being a free program anybody can start downloading it and start experimenting with the color so let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and if you're new here consider subscribing for more videos and I'll see you in the next one take care bye